What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Zombie Iron Man or we're just gonna say Zim event, breaking down what you guys can expect with this, the uh what like how what you should realistically expect to unlock with uh with Zim here. And you know, I spent most of my salt yesterday on the uh on the release method, you know, him being uh his offers, his dark promotion credit or red star promotions. Yeah, most of the salt's gone. But um yeah, I'm probably going to run a little bit. This this event for him is not very friendly. Um, it, it, you're you're going to be hard pressed to get shards. Unlocking looks doable, but beyond getting him at two stars, it's going to be a lot of power cores. So we're going to break that all down in today's video. If you guys do enjoy this video, you find it helpful and informative, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, let's just talk about. So you have two, you have two, uh, two things here with this trick or treat event. You have trick or treat or zombie party, and zombie party is where you're going to be getting a lot of his gear, a lot of orbs, gold, T fours, a nice, uh, nice selection of stuff. However, in order to do this, you must have zombie Iron Man or Zim. I just gotta say Zim. You gotta have Zim unlocked to get into this. So you can't do this until you have Zim unlocked. So what are you expecting with Zim? Well, it, it's a, it's sort of like a campaign event, but worse, in that you have five nodes here, and each one goes up in relative relative difficulty. Like you fight Dormammu here at the very end. If if you're if you're a level ninety player, like this is going to be very easy. You're you're going to cruise through this really easily. If you're a lower level player, you should be able to get this. The nice thing is, at least for lower level players, is that each node gives the same payout of undead genius orb fragments. It's a very very low payout but you still get the same amount nonetheless. So everyone should be able to get at least a two-star Iron Man zombie. Zim, I, keep, I just gotta say Zim, I keep, keep doing that. You should be able to get a two-star Zim from this event, no matter what. Now, the thing is you are going to have to power core and you can see it here. I'm just gonna spend my AMI 50X cores this morning, all four of them, and we're gonna Sim this. We're gonna Sim for Zim if it, if it loads. Oh, geez, there we go. Come on, blue stacks, don't fail me now. Okay, so there we go. We spent uh, we spent 400 cores, and we basically got a single undead genius orb fragment. Now we go over here, go to orbs. Once we get past all the annoying offers, where you at? Uh, right here. So we'll open this, and I'm gonna get a whopping. Okay, I got eight this time. The first orb got me six, so I'm now at 14 out of 45. And if you look at the chances for this, you do, I mean, the the average is going to be about six or eight Zim shards here. So what this means is that in order to get to 45, you're going to need to open at the, at the most. If you get six every time, you're going to need to open eight of these, which means you'll need to open up eight orbs over the course of six days, which is going to be cutting it close. I mean, obviously, you can go up here. Like I saw on Reddit, someone got a 180 pull of Zim from this, which is great. Um, but yeah, realistically speaking, you're going to have to open seven or eight orbs to unlock Zim. That means you will need to core. You're going to have to core. Like, you're going to have to spend 200 cores every day because the, the, re, the, re, uh, the energy recharge rate is what you expect from, uh, from campaign events. You get one energy every five minutes, meaning that you get 12 energy an hour, meaning that over the course of a day, you're looking at about, what is it, like 260, 270 energy thereabouts. So you're not going to be getting a lot of energy on your own for this. And because the yield for fragments are so low, if you don't core for this, you are not, you're not, you're just not going to unlock Zim. So this is one where you will have to spend your cores to do the to do energy refreshes. If you want to do 50 each day, now you could do 100. And the nice thing is, at least for the next few days, we are overlapping with Midnight Haunt, which requires you to spend cores. So every time you spend a power core, you're getting points of Midnight Haunt. Now this does last for the next uh, next couple of days, so you do have some overlap. So if you're going to be spending cores, spend them now so that you get so you double dip, you get Zim, and you also get credit towards Midnight Haunt. That's what you want to do. And that's probably what I'll do. Probably what I'll do. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go in. Let's let's spend a little more cores. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. 
Well, uh, yeah, there you go. Some progress towards the next milestone for Midnight Haunt. And this is this is one that I find a little weird in that uh, in that all of them have this all the nodes in this campaign event for Trick or Treat. I mean, do we call this a campaign event? Like, what do we call this? Um, it, yeah, all of them uh, all of them have the same yield. There's no uh, there's nothing like it. It, it does feel kind of weird. Let me guess. Eight. Okay, so we got another eight. So I am now at what? I'm halfway there within within the first couple of days. But that's me also spending a lot of power cores. So the, this is this is what I'm talking about. You're gonna have to core to unlock Zim. And you know I was talking about how he's like a must-have, and people are pushing back on that, which is fair. Like if you're not into war, Zim is really not a character you need. I am waiting for him to pull the rug out from underneath us and then as his event ends say, oh yeah, by the way, he's required for Apocalypse. With how they've been so far in this event, that would not surprise me at all if they end up doing that. But, uh, you know, they've usually been pretty good about that, about Tenos up front when characters are required for Apocalypse like they did with Spider Weaver. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is one where spend your cores. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else to say. Now, one other thing to mention here is that uh, if you go into this event, there is a bug where, like, apparently you can't you can't bring in Zim to hire some of these other events. Like, you require they like, require like three and four star characters or something. Basically, what's going on is that you have to pretty much go and make a save squad with Zim on there, and then find that, select that, and then you can bring in Zim. At least that's what I've been told so far. I can't. I can't confirm it for sure for my own on my own because of the uh because I just don't have Zim unlocked yet. But yeah, supposedly all you have to do is just make a safe squad with Zim and then select that and you'll be able to get into these other ones. There's nothing yeah, it's it's weird. Like it's saying that it requires higher stars on Zim, which if it if it does require higher stars on Zim, you can't use that safe squad selection thing. Yeah, we're screwed. Like no one's no one's gonna unless you're whaling, you're not gonna have like this required. Apparently you have to have like a four star Zim. This one you have to have like a three star according to the screen selection requirements. So yeah, I mean, unless you whaled, you're not getting a four star Zim. I if if you're lucky, I can I can I can see three stars. If you get really really lucky, pull like 180. Yeah yeah, you're gonna do the four star. But I mean, you're you're gonna have to have some good luck to really get a three star Zim at the end of this. Um, yeah. So there's there's really nothing else to cover here with this. Let me know what your all's luck has been so far on this event. How are you guys doing on it? Um, again, I will be showing footage of the Undying Squad here soon. Um, I, just a little bit of a just a little bit of a heads up. They are a very powerful squad. Uh, the two Undying characters, I I pretty much called them the the New Eternals of War, and that it's two characters, and they are just absolutely dominating on war offense. Uh, there's going to be plenty of footage of that here in the near future, so we'll be able to talk about that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. How are you guys doing with the uh, with the zombie Iron Man event or the Zim event? How uh, what's your luck been like? Let me know down below. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that like button, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time.